Right, well, I'm pulling back onto the course just below Schoolhouse Corner. And I have a show for today, which is quite nice. Uh, say hello, James. Hello. They can't, they can't see you, so you don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. You won't crack the screen. Um, James has just come over this morning, so we're going to go have, have a little run over the mountain. So we're pulling up here at uh, Parliament Square. Did you see some of the other ones I did of this? No, you haven't. Um, we pulled up at Parliament Square. We're going to turn right and go off up towards the mountain. Might be a bit of a long video, this. So as you can see, if you look there, the road's quite uneven. It really is a road, for those of you that have never been here. Um, for the TT, the next section we're going to is usually, is always one way. But um, for the Manx, it's two ways. So we're going up May Hill. I'll tell you what, I thought it was but wobbly on my holding in the car. Holding the thing makes you realise how uneven the road is. Here we go. There's a fog or mist up on the mountain already. It is it's questionable whether the uh, session today on Friday is actually going to take place. Just be careful. There is there are policemen sitting at the gooseneck. They're not at the hairpin. Okay. And it's a 30 mile an hour speed limit. And they have been booking people. I noticed the other day when I went past there were quite a few locals getting booked. <laughs> Oops. The one thing you'll notice about this is there's no cones. Remember when we yeah. came up, there are always cones. Yeah. So here we are, we're at the uh, hairpin now. What did I just say to James? There'll be loads of policemen here. <laughs> there aren't any. <laughs> well, we can't see any at the moment. Oh, is there? Is there? Is there? Is there? Yes, there, is, is. there is. Yes, there is. There's three They're of them. Hiding. They're hiding. <laughs> Now we're heading up to the Goose... Uh, no, where, what's going wrong today? All my teeth aren't in the right gear. Going up to Warser Works. James is chauffeuring me today in his very nice Audi RS... What is it? Four. And a, right, a very nice Audi RS4. Uh, uh, a state... Uh, Avant? Yeah. Is that the correct terminology? An Avant. This is where they had a rock fall, just there on the right. I had to repair it just before the TT. This, for the TT, will have cones all the way down the middle of the, the middle of the road. We're still in a, I'm not saying it for James's sake, we're still in a 50 mile an hour speed restriction area. As I've said on some of the other ones, I, the first time I came here, there were no speed limits anywhere. But the mountain is an unrestricted area, unrestricted speed area, so you can go as fast as you like, provided you don't cross double white lines and don't run into anybody else. If you noticed here, James, do you remember yeah. the, the, the end of this wall used to stick out and it was painted white? Yeah. They're taking it off now. Just there used to be painted white, whether you can see that new bit of wall. By the time you get to here, the cones have all gone for the TT. So you can start using the other side of the road. And going round this corner, you can start overtaking people going up towards the mountain. So there we go, there's the gooseneck. Just a bit further is the unrestricted area. This is where they had, uh, no, I can't say that. This is where the masters were last night. Yeah. So now we're in open, open road area now. I'm not going to instruct him. He's a, quick, he's a good enough driver. Coming up to Joey's, where my live feed was. My Joey's viewing point. Whoa. Michael Dunlop like, uses that lay by, you know. <laughs> Christ, you don't, don't I feel all the. You know, me 
makes you realise how sitting in the passenger seat, because I don't usually sit in the passenger seat, makes you realise how uneven the surface is. Guthrie's. I would keep all the way over to the left and swing it across the sheet. And just make sure there's nothing coming the other way first. <laughs> and now we're entering the mountain mile soon. It is nice to be driven for a change, you know. Here's the mountain mile coming up. And we've got a problem possibly with the weather today, as you can see up there, that is mist coming down. There's plenty, of, oh, look at the mist on the, the mist up here on Snaefell. It's not coming up very well on the camera, but there is mist ahead of us. Both on the, oh, 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 Christ. You want to keep in the middle of the road to avoid those bumps on the bike, won't you? So now we're going flat out along here, which uh, that must be quite an experience. I mean, we're doing 70 mile an hour. They're on bikes doing <coughs> at least 100. Well, in excess of 120 <laughs> mile an hour, I would think, particularly on the TT bikes. <coughs> I tried to come over here a few times, and every time I came over here, the phones rattling all over the place. And yeah, we've got a bike going past us, there you go. Got another, one, another one sitting behind us being quite sensible, I'm looking in the mirror. Remember when we were coming over there, I was saying, yeah, just watch this, he's coming past us now. Makes us look like we're standing still. Oh, I noticed the other day, Tweaksies have started advertising on Facebook. Yeah. For the sim, car, sim games. Yes, yeah. they've, they've got another, they've got like a, they call it like a sim. Have they? Like a department, you know, they've got the motorsport, yeah. motorbikes and all the rest of it, this apart from gaming and sim. Yeah. Right guys, can you see straight ahead of us now, that is fog, mist. There is a very good chance that today's practice on Friday the 25th of August 2023 may not take place. The reason it won't take place is because they can't get the helicopter. They don't. The helicopters won't fly in the mist for safety reasons, obviously. If we get rain, that's another reason that they won't. Uh, the circuit becomes to call uh, a tall or damp. They uh, the guys are running on slicks most of the time, or the big bikes are anyway. They won't run them. This is. The Black Hut, and we've got another bike gently going past us. Is that the one that was sitting behind us for yeah. ages? I'll tell you what, that wasn't exactly a wise place to overtake. It did have a good view. We're now coming towards the veranda, famous, the veranda made famous by a local resident. If you haven't seen it, go and have a look for Connor Cummins' accident at the veranda. It's amazing how the guy actually survived. I'm just going to turn the camera away for a minute. There we go. If you look that way, we're looking down towards the sea and towards Laxey. Yeah, we can go to Laxey for a go to Laxey for a Glaver ice cream and uh, Glaver coffee and may get the bacon. Do you want a bacon bap? Yeah, we're going to Laxey Beach Stop Caf for a bacon bap. This is a bit longer than all the others I've done. They were about five minutes, the other ones. Just look, this is nine minutes, 35 seconds. They'll be bored to death. Unfortunately, I can't go at TT bike speeds. No. <laughs> be much shorter. Well, we've actually run into a lot of traffic, so... Uh, I know James does drive quite sedately sometimes, but he also does drive quite um, quickly. I've heard from his mum, he's a bit of an effing nutter. Uh, I didn't, no, she didn't say that. She just, this is the bungalow. And 
if you turn right here, you can, you're going straight on there. If you turn right here, you can get down to uh, Sorby Strait. Heading up towards Halewood Rise. It's really nice up here today. I just do hope that mist stays away. We've got uh, rain possibly for later on. Just making the session look very good. One time that I was up here on the mountain, we pulled up just by the bungalow there, or we'd been stopped because there was an accident. And they waved us out. By the time we got out, we arrived just here on the left by the sign that says A11 Douglas and Kurt Michael. There was another. There was another bike off in the in the bank. You know, half a mile up the road after they've all been fastened up for ages. Look at that lovely view. It's straight towards. Um, that would be. Where would that be? That's probably the outskirts of Douglas, is it? We're now heading towards the famous Windy Corner. And it's got nothing to do with eating beans. It's all to do with the fact that the wind is jukes. I'm surprised to leave the flags in there. You can see that there must be some thieving little individual that would probably uh, borrow them. Yeah. Seem to borrow everything else. <coughs> this is Windy Corner, which. It's windy for the obvious reasons because it's the wind blows up from the sea that way and down from the land that way. So it's uh, there you go. You see, the island isn't just about racing. I'll take you to some some stunning places on the island while you're over. When do you go back? Wednesday. 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 Okay. Wednesday evening. We'll go and see some nice. Uh, peaceful places that are totally different and uh, are not racing orientated. I went to a place that uh, I've been there before but Chris Hodgins had been down there and parked his motor home when he came over just for a break. Oh, yeah. There was a fisherman there fixing, fixing his nets. He said, he said, somehow Chris's name came up in conversation. He said he owes me a BTC, BTCC hat. He hasn't dropped it off yet. Just to remind you, Mr. Hodgins. <laughs> bit further on is where uh, Dom Herbson's dad came off last night, yesterday, yesterday during practice, the first practice. Dom's been in hospital. Dom's come off as well. I can't remember when Dom came off. He's got a crack in his heel bone. He is okay. So we're heading towards Keppel Gate and then down to Kate's Cottage. Then we're going to go off the circuit to Craigner Bar and head towards Laxey for the Minas Grand. We've now got the cones all the way up here rather than down there. Down there. The cones come all the way up to here. Well, the, the problem is there's too many people, James, that are, are driving, riding, and driving. Because there were a couple of uh, supercars written off as well in the TT. Oh um, people are riding, are just pushing too much. Going to the limit. Even, yeah. I mean, you watch the locals come over the top here. I mean, it's not the safest of roads, is it? Unlimited, and because it's unlimited, they're doing 100 mile an hour even when it's normal. We just we just happen to be unlucky. Yeah. We're stuck in a load of traffic. Yeah. And we're doing 50 mile an hour. Yeah. Anyway, this is the Craig Nabar, and we are going to hang a left. So just cut the speed down. There's a left turn. You've been down here with me, haven't you? But I'll rephrase that. That sounds awful. <laughs> You've been down here with me. What the blooming heck? Hang a left here. Thank you very much, everybody. See you later.